what is that y'all it's some big bright orb in the sky that seems to have heating and drying abilities in addition to a 30 mile an hour wind today that i did not get the memo was going to be part of the weather we might actually dry some of this stuff up stay tuned so about twice a year something happens here on the farm and it inevitably happens on a weekend and that is that the gas runs out we use propane for heating our water and for my gas stove and it ran out so i got a bath this morning and have clean hair but happy day the gas man came on a saturday to save to save things i really wanted to cook a steak on the stove tonight so all is not lost my rake is gone i was going to video it being put away but i'm too late the farmer's already done it. Oh, and for what it's worth, he's on the phone. He's in his office on the phone. That's our office. That's where we go. Excuse the dirty window. That's where we go to um, make phone calls and such because it's where we have service and that spot right there. That one little, where's my finger? Right there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty with the sun going down in it. Sure was good to see it today. Okay, here we are. It's Saturday night. Saturday night. Sizzling steak night. And I told some of y'all, or I mentioned somewhere about doing smashed potatoes, but that's what I like to do. They're super easy and they're super good. So, what I do is I just cook four potatoes. I put them in the microwave on a plate, trusty Corel ware. I don't do anything to them. I used to put them on olive oil and salt beforehand, but now I just do that after. So I cook them until they're fork tender, about 10 or 15 minutes, microwave, and then I put them, hold on and I'll show you. I put them on a pan and I use my little handy smasher, I call it, and I just smash them. It's so easy. But it's so good. Okay. Smash. Drizzle with some olive oil. A little bit. Oh, where's my salt? Kosher salt. You can't have too much salt on potatoes. I mean, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. A little cheese. I'm telling you, it's good. And it's easy. And it's fast. And... If you got it, bacon bits, because remember what we say, bacon makes everything better. Okay, that's literally it. And then I'll put them in the oven to broil, and goodness, and it's definitely time to flip. Uh-oh, I'm going to get the video too long. The potato. Oops, oh, I hope it crashed. That's terrible. I get a little on that side. Heaven forgive me. Okay, so supper's done. But I want to try something different tonight. A couple of people have told me that instead of just, instead of using steel wool or something like I use here, the ringer, it's called the ringer. I, don't, I guess because it's on a ring and it's a lot of little rings. Anyway, um, David, one of my subscribers and friends on here, hello, um, said that his grandma always used kosher salt. So, because it, it is abrasive and it also could help season it. So, I'm going to try, I'm trying it. I can't really show you because I don't have all the things to do that. Hey, what's going on? Here we go. Oh my gosh. So, 
I don't know. I feel like it might not get all the stuff on the sides as well. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let me, let me, let me see how this goes. I think it is working, actually. It's actually working very well. Okay. I'm just going to rinse it out. Here we go. I'd say that works, that works really well, actually. Winner, winner, steak dinner. Or salt. I don't know. I can't even think of a good saying, so I'm just going to stop on sort of ahead. So today is supposed to be sunny and 63. Um, not so much. It's in the 50s, so I really can't complain. But man, I mean, I was ready to just feed and get a chair and just sit outside and get some vitamin D. Mm, it's not happening. My feet are stuck. Ah, stuck to the ground. We're in that sticky stage again. Yeah. Oh, well. It could be worse. It could be raining. So, we'll take what we can get. Mm. So, another observation in mudology today. Looks can be deceiving, y'all. See, like right here. Look, that is that is solid ground. Okay? But I needed to get over the air. So, one false move, gone. Foot, gone. Yeah. Very... Uh -huh very deceiving mm. it's sticky <sighs> and that's that okay the cows are fed the muddy boots and bibs are off and I'm in the kitchen the kids are outside shooting guns bb guns um i mean that's what they told me so hopefully that's what they're doing and i'm about to get supper going early this sunday afternoon but it's kind of a different deal today so 99 percent of the time i'm cooking beef right beef homegrown beef that we raise because that's what's in my freezer and Anytime I cook something else, my husband reminds me that he's not a chicken farmer or a hog farmer or fish farmer, whatever. So I don't cook a lot of other stuff. Usually if I do, it's pork or fish. So we have a pond, a farm pond, and we have a bunch of crappy, and I like cooking that. Okay, excuse me. Some of y'all know that fish as crappie crappie i cannot even say that with a straight face because that's not even how it's spelled it's spelled crappy so i call it crappy so anyway somebody's gonna say something about that anyway tonight i'm going back to my roots i had uh okay a little side story here another another uh kind commenter recently said that I should be a politician because I could talk for hours and say nothing. And that's true. Like, I totally, I own that. So, I'm just going to live up to it right here, right now. Um, so, I had two grandmothers. I was blessed with two grandmothers, amazing grandmothers. One that lived very close to me and she basically raised me. And another that lived down east, eastern North Carolina, Aurora, North Carolina, which is where my mom was raised. Both of them were amazing cooks. They both kind of had their specialties, but they both made really awesome chicken stew. 
So one called it chicken stew, one called it chicken pastry. Some of y'all will know it as chicken and dumplings, okay? But whatever you call it, you just got to call it good. So um, I've only made it a couple times in my life because I didn't. I just didn't think I could do it the same. But the last time I made it was really good, and I've just got a craving for it here lately. So I went to the pig yesterday, and I bought some chicken, chicken thighs. I don't know. I, I think I like dark meat better. I don't know. I reckon you could use any kind. It was on sale, so that's what I bought. So I'm gonna boil these up, and then I'm gonna use these this uh, frozen pastry. My granny would like make the pastry and roll it out and cut it up. And I, I can see her doing it right now, my granny Grace. But um, that's that's too much work for me. And these this pastry is made in eastern North Carolina in Aiden. It's Annie's. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. They're not paying me for this advertisement, but they're amazing. And not Annie, Ann, Ann's Old Fashioned Flat Dumplings. I'm reading that backwards, which is a pretty amazing skill set in itself. So, anyway, I'll show you how that all goes. And if it turns out good, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, I might not let you know. But, anyway, good chicken stew is hard to beat. That's what we're doing. So, here you go. This is what we call semi-homemade, which is basically amazing as far as I'm concerned so these pastry come this pastry comes like this in like a sheet of three strips that I just broke so I just to let it sit five minutes I haven't been sitting that long but I'm so impatient so anyway I'm gonna start dropping them in and when it stops boiling and then starts back boiling you can put more in here we go I say it all the time, don't I? Here we go. But yeah, here we go. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm probably I'm doing this with one hand. Risk burning myself. So I just shredded that chicken. And then you know what I did? I'm going to tell you what I did. I sprinkled it with a bunch of kosher salt. Because I don't know I like salt. And I just feel like it's not going to hurt. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Now, this just sits for like two minutes. Um, stir it, and then you just put the lid on it, and you let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes. It's probably going to be more like an hour, because i got to go feed Papa. And hopefully when I get back, it's like thick, like Granny's. So, fingers crossed. Hmm. See a little bit of grease, maybe? Whatever deliciousness is what it is how nice how nice of the Sun to come out now that it's time for it to set still though that's pretty y'all let's just stop and take that in a second that's pretty well this is what we ended up with I think it should be a little thicker and it definitely needed more salt so I added a bunch but let's ask let's ask one little girl how was your chicken stew pastry dumplings whatever you want to call it chicken and dumplings yeah whatever you want to call it how was it good. is it really good you ate it all huh you're working on it too much salt I put too much salt no, I'm just kidding. Nothing can have too much salt for me. <laughs> yeah, she's your daddy's girl. Okay, maybe we'll try it again. <laughs> so, for what it's worth, she ate another bowl of that. I'll call that a win. Everybody cleans their plates. I call it a win. And I think we will call this one done. That's kind of a pun, a little bit. Maybe not a great one, but it's the end of a week or the beginning of a week, however you want to look at it. Until next time.